All right, and uh, wow, five sets, <laughs> Bishop of Blonde. Uh, what the heck happened tonight? Um, so I kind of told the girls that I still had like anxiety about last year's game and how bad we played, and that I was seeking revenge, and they did it. <laughs> I was very proud of them. Um, the, the first set, we were actually winning that first set, and then we ended up losing it. Third set, we just won't talk about that set. But everything else was like fantastic. I and, loved uh, it. And Natalie. Wow, you were making some real crucial hits tonight, especially, uh, especially I think it was in that, uh, that fourth set there. What was going on? Because you were just connecting on a lot of crazy yeah. stuff tonight. Thank you. I was just, I've been working on my timing, and that's helped a lot, and just working on communication and all that. And uh, Avery, you were here last year uh, when LeBlanc, I mean, both you guys, all three of you guys yeah. were part of that. And uh, what's it like, five sets, finally take them down? What was that like tonight? Um, honestly, it didn't matter how long it took or how many sets we played. We just wanted to win, and it felt good to finally beat them because they've kind of been our rivals for volleyball. It just it doesn't seem like it could no matter how well we played. It seemed like Bishop LeBlanc always just came back and just beat us every year. And so like this has been a long time coming. Like we wanted to beat them so bad. And uh, you guys got off to a four uh, four zero lead in there in that fifth uh, fifth set. Mm -hmm. They climbed back in there. I mean, what did you guys do to kind of finally fight and kind of break them back down again? Because they, they just weren't going to go down easy tonight at all. I, I keep telling them the, the girls have to find their inner fight. Like, I can't go out there any more than I can. Like, I'm literally jumping and screaming on the sidelines. I told them I'm doing everything but a toe touch on the sidelines. <laughs> they have to go out there and want to f fight and win. And so the girls dug deep down and found that inner fight to want to win. And hopefully it just keeps going from there. And what were you guys saying to each other in that fifth set? Just kind of keep that momentum going, even when they started coming back on you. We were being super energetic and just like hyping each other up, and yeah, we're being so annoying. annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. I want them to be annoying because then you get in their head, and so if we can stay up and get in their head, that's just a little bit more off for us. Yeah, volleyball is such a mental sport for sure. Yeah, and if you can get in their heads, it just goes down there hill real fast. And, of course, you guys got a few more weeks till uh, the postseason gets started, but it seems like you guys are building up a lot of momentum, a lot of steam, not to quote my own article here, but, yeah. uh, you know, it just seems like you guys are really, you know, hitting your stride right now. Uh, what's that feel like as a team? Just two big wins in a row. I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> I mean, we still have a lot. We still have three games next week, and so um, we actually go – I go into the district seating meeting on Saturday morning. And so, um, and we have a we have a hard district. I'm I'm not gonna lie, we do have a hard district. But anything could happen. We proved that last Saturday against Maryville, where we could we went 22-25 with them. And right now, it's looking like Maryville is gonna be the top seed in the district. So we could easily turn that district around, even though we may be coming out of it with a low seed. And what do you guys think? It's it's kind of been a couple of really crazy games in a row, but uh, you guys have really been on top. What's what's going on here? Um, I think we're starting to mesh really well together and we're finally learning like what everyone's good at and what our weaknesses are and we're just putting it all together. Mm -hmm. and... I'm very proud of them. I'm not going to lie. I'm very proud of them. All right. And uh, next week you got Plattsburgh, of course. And then uh, what was the schedule looking like got, after that? Monday we got Plattsburgh. Wednesday we have the makeup game against Chillicothe, which is another conference game. And then Thursday we have St. Joe Lafayette, which is our last conference game. So. We still have two more conference games, so we could come. I mean, if they keep playing like they are, we could come out with a couple more conference wins. And final question, Chillicothe, you know, the crosstown rival, the big bad Hornets, uh, what's it like getting to take them on one more time this year? It'll be interesting. Um, LeBlanc actually went 4-1 and one with, or sorry, 3-1 and one with them a few, right before quarantine. Literally, we had been watching games on prepping for Chillicothe right before the quarantine situation. And so... Um, they, LeBlanc beat them three to one. So anything could happen though, because those games were really close. So I know that we can play close to them too. So anything mm -hmm. could happen. What do you, what do you oh, guys no. think? They're going down. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what's yeah, I'm excited to play them. All right, what mo makes you guys so confident? I mean, look at us, we just beat <laughs> LeBlanc. We're coming off a good win. <laughs> they're ready to go. Like, yes. I mean, they're, they are just, they have, they're fighting that inner fight, and they're ready to go. And I told them, I mean, it doesn't matter what our record looks like this year because this is a crazy year, but what matters is postseason. Absolutely. So, and our conference, ending our conference. So, 
I mean, we took a hard loss against Benton, but we can fight back. If we can get these two other conference wins, we can still come out of ahead of Benton in the conference rankings. Mm -hmm. Nice. So. Well, that's all I got here. Yeah.